Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be planning in my Happy Planner Recipe Planner, which I love. I've only actually used it for one recipe so far, but I really wanna to try to make this a habit, maybe once a week share a recipe with you guys. So this is what I'm going to do. So this is gonna be a pretty basic plan. I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of fancy stuff but I'm using this recipe. It's white chicken chili crock pot recipe. I have made this a couple times. It is delicious. I think every time I make a recipe, I'm going to take a photo of it to put in my planner, but for now, I didn't start that yet, so I just printed out this picture that I found online. So since this photo has some green accents, the lime and the cilantro, I thought it would look nice if I had some green stickers on this page. So I am taking out my rainbow sticker book and I'm going to pull out this polka dot rectangle box sticker and I'm going to place it underneath the photo. And now I'm just going to use my Tombow roller adhesive to put on the back of that picture so that I can glue it down. I probably should have used my Zig glue pen on this picture instead of the adhesive roller because the corner kind of came up a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right there. And I'll put a link to this in the description box below. I do really like both of those adhesives. Now I'm grabbing my Tombow dual brush pen and I'm just going to um, write the white chicken chili at the top of the page. I am not gonna do any fancy lettering this time. I'm just going to keep it pretty simple in this recipe book, I think. And now I'm just going to use my Papermate Inkjoy gel pen and write in the information about the recipe on the side of the page. Okay, I messed that up. I put six to eight hours and it was supposed to be just really five to six hours. So I'm trying to I started scribbling it out and then I thought that looked really bad. So I decided instead to grab the Colorful Boxes sticker book and put a couple of stickers right over there. I think it'll look nice anyway.
as always, sorry about my head in this video. Actually, this time it's my hat, but um, you know, my eyesight isn't that great anymore, so I have to kind of get close to the page when I write. I'm just going to grab another one of these green little boxes and write in that these are the toppings. And now I'm just going to go into the food sticker book and find some stickers for this recipe. So it is a gluten-free recipe, so I'm going to grab a gluten-free sticker and put that at the top. Next, I thought I would put a couple of limes at the top. They're green and, and cute, and there is lime in the recipe. Next, using my Pentel Energel black pen, I am just going to write down my ingredients. I thought it would look nice if I used some icon stickers to mark each of the preparation steps. So I grabbed a couple of these green stars just in keeping with that green color scheme. And then I thought I'd put a little heart up there and then I saw that love this sticker and I do really love that recipe so I'm just going to place that up there as well. And that's it for this recipe. Like I said, I really did keep it very simple. Nothing fancy, but I really don't need to be fancy in this book. Just a little bit decorative is nice. And um, let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed watching me recipe plan because I certainly plan on doing this more often. Like I said, I'm gonna try to fill up that book 
whenever I can. So maybe once a week or so, I don't know, just let me know. And if you're not subscribed, please click that button. Please click the like as well. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.